Om Shanti. Very warm greetings for this great festival of Shivratri. Perhaps some of you have been celebrating this festival for many years and there's many different rituals connected with this festival. And I'm sure you've heard the spiritual significance of all of these. But I want to take up one particular aspect. We're recognizing that Shiva is the one without a physical form. And this is why we have that image of the Shiva Lingam. No human form, no angelic form, but a form of light. And of course, for the sake of worship, devotees have created a physical image of that oval image of light that emanates as an aura from a candle or a deepak. But the actual form of God is this being of light, the supreme. And what is more important than the actual worship of the Shivalingam is the real experience of connecting with the Supreme, the one we call Shiva, and the one I will now call Shiv Baba. Shiva means the one who is without physical form, the point. Shiva means the light, the creator. Shiva means the benefactor. And so, surely, when I refer to God as mother and father, I should be able to experience that personal connection with my parents. God is not so far away. Yes, his abode is that supreme abode of light. But in the awareness of the soul, when I think of God as that being of light, emanating the ocean of love, of peace, of joy, of truth, then in my thoughts, connecting with the divine, I'm able to feel that experience of unconditional love from the mother and the property that my unlimited father wishes to give me, which is a property of joy, of happiness. So my hope is that this Shivratri you will actually experiment and feel how it's possible to have a direct living relationship with the one who is the supreme parent of all humanity. Om Shanti. Mm-hmm.